Okay, so we're going to have a go at plotting a graph when we've got a set of numbers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use these pegs and we're going to try and plot the numbers on the graph. At the moment you've got a graph in front of you with scales, the graph paper with scales, okay. going the numbers going up mm -hmm. and the numbers going along. Do you know which one's the x-axis? Along the bottom. Along okay. the corridor up the stairs. Fantastic, you know what you're doing. Okay. So I've given you a set of data, mm -hmm. which is two columns of numbers. Okay. Okay. And that's the same, so that's x and that's y. So let's just start with the these slightly easier numbers here. If you take a peg I think you've probably used these skills in geography as well, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Have you been looking at coordinates on a on a map? Can you remember how to do coordinates on a map? Um so, but okay. I can't really remember. Okay, that's fine. So if you go, if you look at your x-axis mm -hmm. and go to the number one, mm -hmm. and then you're looking for, you said that's, uh, there's your number one on there. That's right. That's all right. That's your first point. Okay, how do you feel about the length of that stick? Mm. Um. A bit long. Yes. Okay. So, how about, do you think you could snap it in half? Mm. That'll do. That's okay. doesn't matter for the time being. Okay. So, have a go now if you can do the rest of those points on the graph. Okay. So, you've got one and one. You can snap that one in half. You can use that one, you see. It's very shaky. They're all going to feel sick. Which one are you doing? That one. Okay, great. Fantastic. And counting the holes up and the mm -hmm. holes along. Can you follow the line across the coat? Yeah, that's great. It forms a straight line. It does form a straight line. You've described the relationship, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do now is take that pencil, mm -hmm. in fact before you do that, use this piece of car um, cardboard. Mm -hmm. If you were to draw a line, <coughs> a line of best fit on this graph, mm -hmm. where would you put it? You, you can show me using the cardboard. Where would well, you? Like we put a line down. Yeah, where would you draw? It. Yeah. Where would you draw the line of best fit? So you, you're showing the relationship. If you if you stand it on its end, mm -hmm. you, that's it. You can show me where you'd put your line. I wonder what. Uh, you put it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it like touches. Yeah. So it lines up neatly. They're a bit wibbly wobbly, so you mm -hmm. can't say it tells so well. But you've got a nice. Because straight I might line. do it wrong. That's why. Yeah. I it's severe, but you can see where your line's going to go, can't yeah. you? Okay, happy with that? Yeah. Fantastic. Right, use this pencil. Mm -hmm. Take each peg out one at a time and put a little cross in the hole. Can do a circle. A little cross would be better. Because in theory, the cross, the middle of the cross, mm -hmm. is the point that you're mm -hmm. trying to get. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, on the next one then. Okay, you don't need to put too much of a line in. I'm going to come right over here now. There you go. You 
you're breaking my nib. <laughs> it was stuck. Mm. Does it fit okay down the holes? Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, now if magically you remove the um, thingy, the board, mm -hmm. hopefully we will have plotted -da, a straight line. Mm -hmm. Now, can you remember? I'm going to give you a ruler. Yes. Can you remember where your line was going to be? Oh, looking at that, do you think that's a straight line? Yeah. Do you think it's as straight as it was when you had the board on it? Not really. No, do you think maybe... Hang on. Let's just check it where it should be. So we put, I'm going to stop it.